Hello! How are we? It's been a while. It has been a hot tiggity poo. How are you guys? I hope you're all well. I am holding my mic. Uh, wish me luck. This might be very strange for all of you. I don't know how this is going to go. Um, Merry winter. Happy summer, if you live there. And may all the good tidings be joy. Um, I recently went to... Oh, I'm Tasman. Hello from the channel Tea Books and Tasman. I haven't done this in a while. I recently went to Edinburgh to go and see some bookish friends of mine. I went with Emma from Drinking By My Shelf and we went to stay with Jean from Jean Bookish Thoughts and also Leanne from Novel Menagerie slash Literary Diversions. She's called Literary Diversions on YouTube and Novel Menagerie on Instagram and Etsy. And I thought I would take you along with me. Mostly it's gonna be me showing you the 25,000 beautiful, beautiful bookshops that we visited while in Edinburgh. This was going to be a Edinburgh and London bookshop tour video, but um, I didn't have time to do the London portion of it. So I don't know, go check out my channel because I might do one over there at some point, if you like, if you like and um, enjoy. The first bookshop that we went to is Golden Hair Books. There's Emma, have an Emma. There's a Jean as well. Don't my friends look beautiful? Now this bookshop was absolutely goddamn stunning. You can see it's got a gorgeous white sort of minimalist vibe. I love all of the bookshelves that have the beautiful covers facing outwards. The font that they use for all the titles of all the different sections, Mwah. chef's kiss. Now this is a book that I really, really want to get my hands on, Must I Go by Yi Yun Lee. If you pause now, you can have a read of the blurb. It sounds absolutely amazing to me. I have another one of her books that I really want to read at some point, but apparently I don't read anymore. I just buy books and go to bookshops and make myself sad because I want them all. I loved all of the decor. They have beautiful little like snowflakey star Christmassy boys. Now we're heading to the children's section. Absolutely gorgeous room, an amazing selection of books for all ages. We have cardboard, picture books, right the way through to novels. As you can see here, we've got my queen, Jacqueline Wilson, and her latest book, The Primrose Railway Children, which is a modern retelling of The Railway Children. And of course, I couldn't not give some love to my favorite series of all time. Now, I love me a bookshop that has really, really good brand personalization. I loved these tote bags so much. They've also got notebooks, which we'll see in a hot sec, and pins as well. Mwah. Next bookshop we went to was Ginger and Pickles Children's Bookshop, which is directly across the road from Golden Hair Books, so that was perfect for us. It was just this tiny little room that you can see here, absolutely beautiful. Again, a wonderful selection of books for all ages, all children, that is. Um, and then it started snowing, so I got distracted and ran outside and got very excited by the snow. It's raining! No, wait, it's snowing! <laughs> Then we had a little totter down a beautiful, beautiful, gorgeous street. I tried my first iron brew and admired more of Edinburgh being perfect. Next, we went to Rare Birds Bookshop, which was one of my favorites because we had a chaotic, amazing time chatting with all of the booksellers in there. It was adorable. Everything in here is written by women and or people that are non-binary. I did get a book from Rare Birds Bookshop, so hang around to the end for my little book haul. And once again, Brand personalization, hell yes. Next we went to Topping and Company's Booksellers, which was, oh, absolutely insanely packed and just gorgeous. But you know when you go into one of those bookshops that just feels like it's a film set? Absolutely floor to ceiling books everywhere you go. Upstairs, which you'll see now, this onwards is all upstairs footage. The rooms individually were by genre or age group, like there was a children's room, which I'll show you in a hot sec. And oh my heart, it felt like I was in a magical library and all of my favorite characters were gonna walk out of the books and hug me. I thought I'd highlight a few books for you here that you should all check out. I will have them linked down below if you're interested in them. And now we are into the children's section. Here we have a pan of the shelf as soon as you walk into the room. There was me waiting for that child to go past so that I didn't get their face in it. Of course, I had to caress my favorites again. And more Jackie W. God, she's written so many books. Next, we went to Armchair Books, which was like toppings in that it was filled with books just everywhere, but to a chaotic level. It was insane. 
Got to give a shout out to my bae Jane Austen. Here we go. My mum actually has these editions of Jane Austen books. I love them so much. They make me feel super nostalgic. This is through the back to their sort of antiquity section. How beautiful are these books? I really, really appreciated the sign as well because I just dyed my hair pink, so I feel like it was for me personally. I want every single one of these books. And also, look at the abbreviations of these Shakespeare plays. Troil and Cress, Tit Andron, amazing. Next, we went to Blackwells. I thought I'd get a gorgeous shot across the road. And then, oh, who's, who's that? Is that, is that Bob Mortimer? What? <laughs> this is their young adult and children section. Absolutely beautifully laid out. Such an amazing variety of books there. And, oh, oh, is that more Philip Pullman? Oh, who would have guessed it? I love the screen that they had of recommendations going round. More Pride and Prejudice, you are so welcome. I really want to get my hands on that edition. And I also thought I'd point out the Inheritance Games and the Hawthorne Legacy because you need to be reminded that they exist and you should go and read them. Finally, we went to Forbidden Planet. Oh my goodness, beautiful, love, all of the artwork, all of the nerd. I just feel so at home in Forbidden Planet. Look at this wall of oh, gorgeous, gorgeous comics. Ugh, oh, stunning. And I'm proud of myself because I actually didn't buy anything there. How did I manage that? I only bought two books the whole time I was there. I bought a book in Rare Birds books and a book in Toppings as well, which um, I'll show you in a moment. <gasps> and that's the end of the montage bit. I hope you really like that. Um, I really enjoyed filming that. So if you like that sort of style of a collage of videos and uh, voiceover, let me know if that's something that you'd like me to incorporate here in the future or on my channel as well. I don't know if I can actually say a favorite bookshop from the ones I visited. It might have to, mm. I want to say Rare Birds books because of the amazing experience we had there. We just chatted with the booksellers for ages and we were recommending each other things. We were like, oh my God, I love this book. And then the bookseller would be like, oh, if you like that book, you should read that book. And because it was such an inclusive, diverse bookshop, everyone there was really open-minded, we're all very like liberal and progressive and it was just great vibes guys, great vibes! I've been using the tote bag that I got there non-stop since then, absolutely love it. I love the idea of people on the London Tube seeing me with that bag and being like, oh they must be from Edinburgh and I'm like, no oh, I just wish I was. <laughs> Shameless little self plug before we go on to the book haul part of the video. I am going to be uploading a video on my channel super duper soon where me, Jean and Leanne just do some fun bookish quizzes together and I'll also put in some sort of vloggy clips throughout too. Should we do books? Should we, should we look at the books I bought? Let's look at the books I bought. So like I mentioned in Redbird's books, I got the beautiful tote bag, which I showed you earlier. And I got the two uh, free bookmarks because mwah, stunning, gorgeous, thank you. Context for the book that I bought. For those of you that don't know me that well, one of my favorite books of all time is Jane Eyre by Charlotte Bronte. This is one of my favorite editions, absolutely stunning. And because I love Jane Eyre, I thought I would pick up Jane Steele by Lindsay Fay. Now, Leanne and Jean have both read this, so they both recommended it to me. I think I actually recognized it from Jean's channel and she read it because Leanne hyped it up. And then we were there and I was like, oh, hello. I think this is a Jane Eyre retelling. But with murder. So I bought it. <laughs> Another book. I have so many books. <laughs> I love reading books about women that murder people. I say that, I don't think I've actually read any. I love the concept of women murderers. <laughs> and then finally in toppings, I picked up a book which I'm gonna be reading in a themed reading vlog over on my channel in the first quarter of 2022. And that is The Wizard in My Shed by Simon Farnaby. Now, if anyone else is a Gen Zer like me, you probably know Simon Farnaby from uh, Horrible Histories, from Yonderland, from Ghosts. He's a legend. He's naked in a lot of Yonderland. Um, so if you're into that, <laughs> I need to cut so much stuff. I'm so ready. I'm so ready. I love a joyful middle grade book. I love Simon Farnaby. I'm so, so excited to read this. And that's all. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you've had a good time. I've really, really enjoyed making this video because obviously I just hung out with my friends for most of it. So uh, if you want more of these sorts of videos, exploring different cities through their bookshops, please let me know because that'd be a great excuse for me to travel more of the UK for the sake of YouTube. As always, my links will be down below. Stay safe, stay lovely, stay beautiful. Mwah. I adore you all. Take care. 
should I do? An ASMR section. <laughs> 